Hi guys, welcome. My name is Rav. And if you don't know, this channel is dedicated to RV living and living full time in this RV. So if you're new to this channel, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back. So yesterday's video, I basically gave you guys a agenda for the day. And that agenda did not happen because the kid I was going to buy a new vlogging camera from that I found through the Facebook ads, the camera I wanted, and I told him I was going to buy it and I was going to go to the bank and get the money yesterday, completely flaked out. So that didn't happen. So when that didn't happen, there was no reason for us to move anywhere. So we basically just stayed where we were. But about four o'clock this morning, I don't like staying more than two or three days in a place unless I know that I can. So even though I was on a city street, I was ready to go. There was too much traffic, as you guys saw. So I basically picked up and moved last night. And literally, I'm on the same road at the end of it. That road dead ends. So I'm going to show you guys where we're boondocked now. I'm going to take you guys outside and show you like I always do. But I'm also going to try to do something today for one of my subscribers that has been asking me to do. So stay tuned. Come on back. Alright guys, let me show you around here. Ooh, it's dark. Oh wow. Look at this green foliage. Yeah, buddy. Look at this. Boat and RV storage right there. How about that? And that's where we're at. Little commercial area, little commercial district, I should say. And I would also like to say that this is actually one of my favorite type of areas is an area like this. I like these little deserted cul-de-sac dead ends that you just get lucky and find sometimes. And like I said, this is just a, this is just a little commercial area. These are like storage areas, RV storage areas. And this is the exact same road I was on yesterday. If you go straight down here, you'll run exactly to where I was parked, uh, but I'd be on the left-hand side. So I just took off last night about four this morning and drove straight down this way. And this is where we ended up. So I will actually say that I am pretty freaking stoked to be right here. So today's shout out goes to YouTube subscriber and commenter David Golumski. I hope I'm not butchering your last name, my man. If I am, I apologize. But he has been asking me when he was going to get to see me rolling on this bike. And I have been wanting to do that, but I have a little confession to make. And that is, I bought this thing a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, and I have not ridden it since the day I bought it. It's just been on the back of my rig riding around. So today I'm going to attempt to do something I've never done before. So bear with me. Not sure how this is going to turn out, but I'm going to try to do a moto vlog. What's called a moto vlog riding that beast, my bicycle. That's actually a bicycle. 
It may look like a motorcycle, but it's really a bicycle. So let's ride. Oh, all right guys, so it's taken me kind of like an hour to try to figure all this stuff out and it gets dark early So it's already it's Sunday So I said I was gonna do any kind of vlogging on Sunday, but I'm in such a good spot This is a good place to try out my new bicycle and this is the kind of spot I've been looking for Something that's pretty empty not a lot of traffic or pedestrians and stuff So it's a perfect place, but I'm trying to beat sundown now because it's already 315 so I want to I don't really have the proper equipment to be motor vlogging per se but I have enough equipment that I could improvise so this is basically a test so bear with me I don't know the audio may get screwed up I'm not sure exactly how this is gonna work but it's just a test so it'll give me an idea of what I need to buy for future equipment and stuff like that or if what I've got will actually be sufficient to motor vlog so bear with me again but we're gonna get on this thing and we're gonna try to ride it. How did you do that? How did you do that? I've had a heck of a time. I've spent about two hours trying to get this motor vlogging thing going with no luck at all. So a little frustrating, but we're just gonna try to motor vlog now and do it. Let's do it. All right, here we go. And we're off. I definitely need to get some mirrors for this thing because I have no idea if anybody's behind me or not. Just about everything that could go wrong today has pretty much went wrong. But we're getting our motor vlog done. I don't know if you guys can even hear me. This puppy's pretty loud. But I did pick, well, we're going up a pretty good sized hill here. Yeah, this thing is so loud. And another thing about this bicycle is your foot placement is on pedals, so I'm used to riding a motorcycle, so you don't really put your feet on pedals, which feels really awkward, and it makes you feel like you want to pedal, but you don't, you don't really because you're not, you can't pedal fast enough. As you can see, we've dipped right down here really quick it's gonna be all uphill on the way back though so that's gonna be interesting oh there's a Panda Express right there very nice I have no idea how well you guys can hear me so it's gonna be interesting again this is just a test I had a heck of a time getting all this stuff lined up today so it's going to be interesting to see how well this works. Oh, let's make the green light. Do it, do it. Don't get run over.
Gotta fix this speedometer thing. That's a show. So there's the pilot where we were. Right there, that's where we showered yesterday morning. Definitely got to get some mirrors. Mirrors is on the agenda. So I'm going to show you guys exactly where we were parked yesterday. Look, gas is 366, or that's diesel. The gas is still like 325 or 29, but at pilot it's 309. So that's where we were yes, that's where we were parked right here where this white truck is. We were parked right there for three days. All right, let's see if we can get out here and flip a bitch and head back to Bertha. I think this might be a success if you guys can hear me. over the reserve. Oh. Pain. The reserve, see what happens. Oh. Yeah, it's not good. We're way down here. Well, this is going to be one thing. It's supposed to get 80 miles per gallon, dude. Only like a mile. And I put it in reserve and nothing's happening. I don't know. It's got plenty of gas. Well, that's not good. Sure. I think it could be. Oh.
Well, that was the one thing I wanted to see was like what kind of reliable transportation this thing would be. And this is literally the first time I've really ever ridden it. I rode it one night when I first got it. And I rode it for about maybe two miles. And I haven't ridden it since. This is the first time. And I literally rode a mile and was on my way back. And it, won't, it died and won't start. So I don't know if I revved it up too high. I didn't get over 30 miles an hour on it. It's supposed to go 45. So I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. Uh, it's not been a good day. Uh, it's been a good day. It's just been nothing's went right today. So this doesn't surprise me. But anyway, I guess we're going to head back walking, pushing, pedaling a little bit.